Hey, what's up? I'm Nizio Cole, and today I'm going to be counting down my top five favorite missions from Watch Dogs Legion. This video, of course, will contain spoilers for the main game of Watch Dogs Legion. I'm not going to be talking about any of the DLC, just the main game. So if you haven't played the main game or you don't want to get spoiled, then you can click off this video and watch after you've played the game. But without other way, let's get into it. Coming in at number five, we have Operation Westminster. Now this is the opening mission to the game and I actually enjoyed this mission quite a bit. As soon as I started the game, it gave me a really good impression on the mechanics, the fighting mechanics, the hacking, the graphics, the sound design. It was a very concise mission playing as Dalton Wolf in DeadSec 1.0. This is also the mission where we're introduced to Sabine and Zero Day, but we don't know Sabine's ulterior motives, which are revealed at the end of the game. And honestly, this mission does a really good job of setting the tone for the entire game. Now the opening title sequence after the mission's over where it's like Watch Dogs Legion and it shows like everything exploding wasn't my favorite but it honestly does a really good job of conveying the theme of the game where it's kind of like this overlying feeling of hopelessness. Coming at number four we have Inside Albion. Now this is the mission where Hamish Balaji informs DedSec that there is an inside guy inside Albion who says there's going to be a big announcement for Albion in the Tower of London with Nigel Cass. I actually really enjoy this mission considering I didn't have an Albion member already recruited so I had to go out and find an Albion guard to recruit and then once you do that you can have uniformed access and if you aren't you know being too suspicious aren't walking too close to other people then you aren't detected and this is where you sneak into the tower and you find out that nigel cass is talking about project themis which are the scary drones that know what you're gonna do before you do it one of my favorite parts in the game which kind of felt a little bit out of place but still kind of uh it just gave me weird vibes all around but i still loved it was the catacomb part of the mission at the end of the mission when you have to escape. First of all, you have to get through all the real Albion guards. And secondly, you have to go through the catacombs where there's this weird, creepy statue figure that's like following you around. And it was a really strange experience, but I enjoyed it a lot. At number three, we have Hard Reset. Now this is the last mission of the game. This is the mission where we found out what's going on with Bagley and he puts the survival of everyone else over himself and creates a plan to shut down his servers to stop him from being corrupted. This is where you have that meeting on top of the roof with the drone Bagley. And this is also where you find out about Sabine and the part where she like falls off of Bloom Tower. This is just overall a really good mission. And one of the reasons why Bagley is le legitimately my favorite character from Legion is because of this moment at the end of the game where it's kind of like a heartfelt moment right before you shut down his servers. Even though he comes back after you finish the game, I don't think it takes away that much from this moment between the player and Bagley. At number two, we have Belly of the Beast. Now, remember what I was talking about for number four, which was where you find out about Project Themis, and now this is stopping Project Themis. So you have to go into the computer, and this is actually one of the most creative mechanics in the entire game, and I kind of wish we would get to fly this drone again, but this, like, tiny microscopic mini drone you have to fly through the computer and you have to overheat the power supply and you have to start cutting wires and and avoiding a bunch of traps and stuff like that i think that was honestly such a fun mission i got stuck a few times but it didn't really matter that much to me there wasn't much more other than that but it was just really fun playing at this tiny drone thing in this computer and finally for my number one favorite mission from Watch Dogs legion we have Coming Home. This is the mission where the player breaks into Sky Larson's house, goes in the elevator and goes down, discovers what she did to her dog and her mom. And this was actually a really, really creepy mission. Probably more creepy than the catacombs part of Inside Albion. Hearing what she did to her dog, and especially her mom, like begging, like, please deactivate me. I'll tell you where Sky is if you deactivate me. That was like really troubling and gave me even more motivation to shut down Sky once that mission came around. But I love the visuals of this mission. I love the stark contrast between the upstairs of her house where it's all white and futuristic and blue. And then the downstairs where there's like this fake how like her i think it's her childhood house and there's like this fake sky and and these plants and it just looks honestly really strange for a watchdogs game but i really like the the colors that they chose for it and also the loading screen which is something that you don't really pay too much attention to it was actually pretty stylized for bloom and i think it worked really well overall as a mission this was my favorite mission this whole chapter in general the sky larson chapter in broca tech was my favorite chapter in the game and that is why this is my number one favorite mission so those are my top five favorite missions from Watch Dogs legion let me know your top five down in the comment section below and i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next video
Peace.